Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching CHM Tech and in this video I want to see how good my computer actually is and find out how it ranks compared to your rigs. In order to get my stats, I used a website called a System Requirements Lab and in the next few minutes I'm going to be showing you how you can use the same ranking system in order to find out how good or bad your computer is. Now I know that a lot of you longtime gamers and computer enthusiasts are probably already aware of this website, but please bear it with me because I know that a lot of new subscribers are just getting into gaming and computers, so this one is for them. Without further ado, let's get straight to business. Okay, so to get started we're going to open up a web browser, in my case I'm using Google Chrome, and instead of typing in the exact name of the website we're going to visit, I'm going to type in how good is my computer. So right now I'm going to click on the top result which is from systemrequirementslab.com and it's going to take me to the page that I'm looking for. Now if you look down in the description of this video you can find a link that will take you directly to this page that you're watching right now so you don't have to go through the pain and suffering of searching for it on Google. Once you open this page you want to click on this blue button that says rank my computer. Now that should start a download process for a detection app which is very low weight by the way and once it downloads I can run it simply by clicking on it from the downloads bar on the bottom of my screen. I'm just gonna give the application a few moments to complete doing what it does. Okay so once it says it's all done we can exit the app and once we return to the rank my computer web page we have our system information right here. So the main focus of this website is to tell you how your computer ranks against millions of others that use this same ranking system. So your system information will be categorized under three main tabs. That's the processor, graphics and OS tab. Regarding your processor at the top, it gives you your main information. So as you can see right here, I'm running a Intel Core i7-6700K CPU. And right beneath your main processor specs, it gives you your rank. So in my case, I'm pretty high up there. It's the 99 percentile, which means that out of the 3,252,741 Intel processor tests on this website, my processor is more powerful than 3,224,197 of them. If you scroll down, you can see where you rank on this pretty long scale here. Of course, since I have a Intel processor, it's showing me the results for Intel. Of course, if you were using an AMD processor, it would show you the results for that particular brand. Moving on to the Category tab, which again is a subcategory under Processors. Right here you can see a few performance categories ranging from Value all the way to Extreme. So, moving from the bottom up, we have Value, Mainstream, Performance, High Performance and Extreme. And on this graph you'll see a little arrow indicating what category your CPU falls into. So in my case, I fall into the high performance category and the only one above is the extreme category. As for the other tabs, you also have information on your CPU generation, brand, and manufacturer. After you're done going through the processor information, you can move on to the graphics tab to get some info on your graphics card. So as you can see right here, we basically have the same type of information as in the case of the CPU. Up top you have your basic specs and underneath you have your rank. As you can see, this particular graphics card that I'm running ranks pretty high up there, just like my CPU. Again, if you scroll down, you have a rank scale and a arrow that indicates where your particular graphics card falls in. If you move on to the category tab, Again, you can see some performance categories ranging from budget to enthusiast and the arrow indicates what category your graphics card falls into. Just like in the case of my CPU, my graphics card also falls in the category for high performance. On the generation tab, you can see what specific generation your graphics card belongs to. And I'm proud to say that my GTX 1060 falls in the newest NVIDIA generation move on to the DirectX tab to see the versions of DirectX that your graphics card can support. And finally we have manufacturer information. Once you're done with processor and graphics, you can move up to the OS tab, which simply gives you information on the operating system you're running, which version, whether it's 64-bit, 32-bit, or anything else that might be relevant. 
Now another great feature that System Requirements Lab offers for its users is to see if they can run particular games. So if you click on the Can You Run It button, it will take you to a page where you can type in the name of a particular game and see if your system is strong enough to run it. So for the purposes of this tutorial, let me just type in Gears of War 4. After you've selected the game you want information on, simply click on the blue button that says Can You Run It? Now right off the bat, it tells you if your computer meets the minimum and recommended system requirements. So as you can see right here, my system meets both the minimum and recommended system requirements, but if you scroll down, you can get some additional information. So you get specific information on minimum system requirements, as well as recommended ones and optional ones. Now one thing I would like to add here is that the Can You Run It feature apparently doesn't always make accurate conclusions. I have read user reviews and comments in which people say that the website told them that they can't run a particular game when in reality they could. So if you're pretty confident in your system specs, but the website tells you that you can't run a game that you would like to play, you can always manually read the system requirements for that particular game and compare them to your own specs. Of course, the same applies to situations when you're about to pay a decent amount of money for a new game and the website tells you that you can run it, double checking manually never hurts. Anyways, let me know in the comments how your system ranks on the website and how it does compare to my configuration. Full system specs will be in the description, so if you're interested, you can check that out as well. But that would be all for this video. I'm really looking forward to reading your results. If you enjoyed watching the video or found it useful, please hit that like button and share it with your friends. For more content in the future, just hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.